Welcome to our Dark Zone Runs Guide. Before we get into the routes, I'd like to refer to the intro video of this series, where I explain some of the reasoning behind my behavior in the Dark Zone. The main thing that you need to know is that since patch 1.6, you can fast travel from inside checkpoints, which allows a new tactic in the Dark Zone. Something I'd like to call speedruns. I'm going to keep track of how many items you should have on screen. Note that this is not counting drops from random NPCs. I also wanted to mention that the order of these routes are not set. You can start in any Dark Zone, depending on how much activity you can already see on the map. So, for Dark Zone 1, the route I recommend is... You start at the Dark Zone 02 East Checkpoint. Follow the road and cross the junction until you find the construction site landmark on your right. This contains one named enemy and one dark zone chest. So good for two to four items. Once cleared, head back onto the street where you came from and keep following the road in the same direction as you were doing before until you reach the next junction. Take a left where you'll find another landmark with again one named enemy and one dark zone chest. The dark zone chest will be on the right side of the road, at the middle of the blockade, against the building. Now you have 4 to 8 items. Now head back to the last junction and take a left. And follow it until you find the entrance to the subway. Go down where you'll be able to find 2 dark zone chests. And another named enemy, so 6 to 14 items right now. We ran into an event at this point, so the footage is a little bit different than what I'm saying. So, you now have at least 6 items if all the named enemies were alive. And if you found any dark zone chests, you should be filled up. Once leaving the subway, you'll find the extraction point. After you've extracted, head south and take the first junction on the right and go to the dark zone 1 west checkpoint. Note that you've cleared all the named enemies in Dark Zone 1 except for one, which is really far off. And if you wanted to extract, it would take a long time to get to the extraction point from that boss. So it overall takes too much time, in my opinion, to clear it. From the checkpoint, you can fast travel to another one and start clearing a different route. Now for the route of Dark Zone 2. This zone kind of has the option to extract in between. Depending if the chests are openable, uh, or if the Dark Zone chests are on cooldown or not, and if everything is alive. With a full clear you should be able to extract twice. Alright, start at checkpoint DZ03 Southwest. Take the first right on the junction and kill the boss. There should be a Dark Zone chest on the west side of the contaminated zone. After this, head east towards the sporting store landmark, depending on if you have the dark zone keys and if they are were looted or not, you can now extract. Since if everything was off cooldown, you should have 8 items right now and calculating a random drop in there, this is actually the point where you can already extract. And the extraction zone is just around the corner. After the extraction, or if you didn't extract, head for the library landmark. Which again has one dark zone chest and one name enemy. Then head for the construction site landmark, which is two blocks south. After clearing the boss and looting the dark zone chest there, head for the extraction site again. And you have two options for the extraction site. You can go south or back to the one where you just extracted. At this point dark zone 2 is empty and you have two options. Head south or north and start clearing the zones there, or head for a checkpoint and start a new route. For Dark Zone 3 there's actually a lot of options and there's not really a right way. My personal preference is clearing the underground and then clearing above ground. Depending on how much you get in the underground, because once you're full you can just hop out and walk to the extraction site, because it's always very close. So, for the route I went with, uh, you start at the Dark Zone 03 Northwest. Then head for the Brian Park Station entrance to the subway. Head down as far as you can while you'll find a named enemy and a DC chest. Then proceed through the subway, which is kind of a tricky, which is kind of a hassle, but once you find your way, 
you'll find another Dark Zone chest. At this point, depending on the amount of chests opened, you can either proceed through the subway or head up to extract. This will only happen if you had a lot of random items, but they tend to drop quite a lot. And it, uh, once you're at six items, uh, it's a good reason to extract in Dark Zone 3. Why? Because there's actually a chest and a boss on the extraction site, which is good for another four items. And the faster you do it, the more likely he will be back once you try to extract again. Right, from here on, head back to the subway and go to the last bit, where you'll find another boss and another Dark Zone chest. <clears throat> head for the eastern exit of the subway, and head further east until you reach the first junction. Head right towards the refueling station where you'll find a named enemy. This puts you on a 4 to 6 items again. I'd advise heading back into the extraction zone and hope that it respawns. If you take just a little bit of time, he will, trust me. After doing a full extraction again, you can either head back to the checkpoint and fast travel to a different route or move to the different dark zones and find your way. But these are the most efficient ways for me to get here really fast. All right. so. This was the first video about the farming routes I take in the Dark Zone. Note that this is a strategy that works when it's not too busy on the server, but also a lot faster than waiting for respawns. If you find this guide helpful, or if you have any tips for your fellow agents, feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. Good luck farming that new gear. Peace out.